Okay, in the previous video we learned how to send an order in MQL5 uh, by using this two structure and one function name order send MQL uh, trade request, MQL trade results structure and this function. But if you know, have a little knowledge about MQL4, we would find out that uh, MQL5 in MQL5, sending an order is much more complicated in comparison with MQL4. Back then, it was very easy. We just had an order send function, and in this order send, we had several parameters. And by giving and uh, setting these parameters, the order would be sent. Um, in MQL5, we have a library. Actually, it's an include that uh, MQL5 has uh, given it to us, and it make is, makes it very similar to MQL4 to send an order. What is this uh, library? Actually, this trade library, this folder, and in this folder we have this trade.mqh uh, include, uh, which when you install MetaTrader 5, it automatically installs this folder too for you. If, in case you don't have it, uh, you just can search it in the internet and download it and then add it to your include, add this folder to your include folder. Actually, it's just a copy and paste. Uh, and uh, refresh it. And then you would have it. Uh, so, okay, if I double click on this trade.mqh, I will find out that there are a lots of functions and a lots of structures that they are very useful. And from now, we only use them to send order, to modify order, and etc. cetera. Uh, we should first compile it, if this is the first time that you are using it. Uh, and I highly recommend to open all the others one by one and compile all of them too. Maybe you don't have problem uh, without compiling them, but in case that you have the problem in opening order or using them, for the first time, I highly recommend to compile them too. Uh, and then we come back to order send, our file. We want to add this include. How we do that? Very easy. Just we say sharp include. And here, these two signs. And inside it, we say trade. Again, trade. The first one is the folder. The second one is the trade.mqh. And then dot .mqh. And uh, now we have access to the include. And in this include, we call, if I open it, here we have a class named ctrade. We call this ctrade. And uh, just like that, ctrade and trading. We define a trading structure. This is a trading structure, and the structure is similar to C trade that we have here. So C trade would have all the parameters, all the methods that we have here in this class. Uh, and to ignore this part of the code, I just don't want to delete it. I just try to ignore it. I use this. Uh, slash and star and here to show the end i use star and slash so now this part of the code would be ignored and uh, we when we compile it we don't run it uh, here i just call my trading this trading has can have uh, any names so for example i can just say trading like that with 2G. Just this 2G is because I want you to know that it can have every name. So trading dot, if I press that, the methods would be open for me. I can use that by, and here it's very similar to MQL4. Uh, and the first, the first parameter would be the value. For example, I input one. Uh, because I want to trade one lot. Then the second one would be the symbol. I symbol, double parentheses. And then the price, what is the price? In which price we want to run this buy order? Actually, we I, wanna, I want it to be in the ask price. So we already had it. In the previous video, we def we I, I teach you how to define it. It's very important. If you're not familiar with that, please uh, look at the previous video. Here, ask is equal to symbol info double symbol, the symbol ask, and I just wanna have this ask here. Run the order in the ask price, and then stop loss. I want the stop loss to be ask minus one hundred 
points and take profit I want to take profit B ask price plus 200 for example points and uh, the last one is uh, comment I don't want to have any comment I just close it like that uh, it's very important to uh, remember that instead of this symbol we can say just like that symbol and it's the same completely the same so I compile it and I run it here I just drag and drop it order send this is our script I drag and drop it here then a buy order is open uh, the stop loss would be 100 points below the entry point which is the ask our asks price uh, I will ask price and the take profit would be 200 points above the entry point which is our ask price I close it and uh, if I go back here again I can do it for I can do it for selling too uh, just again I try to ignore it then I call this C trade structure and I say sell again uh, I want to have one lot then the symbol I want it to be symbol means the current symbol the symbol that we are dragging and dropping uh, the script on it and then the price I want it to be the bid price because we are selling for sell we use bid and for buy we use ask and uh, the stop loss should be higher so I say bid plus again 100 points and take profit I want it I want be uh, 200 below our take our entry point which is our bid price 200 points like that so this one this function return a boolean variable so I can define another variable the, the type is boolean and if, if the name for example is uh, cell confirm and it would be true whenever the uh, whenever the order is run otherwise it would be false and I can just alert and here we can just write the cell order is and then I paste it here it just tell us it's false or true when it is true it means this order is already run otherwise it would be false so I compile it and then I go back to the MetaTrader window and I drag and drop my script into the window another order is open this is a sell order uh, it is one lot and the stop loss is 100 points above the uh, bid price and the take profit would be 200 points below the bid price and here we have an alert it says that the sell order is true if I close it for example I close this order I just turn off this one and if I drag and drop it here it tells us the sell order is false it means that the order uh, has not run and it uh, had a problem 